let's talk about using learning styles. Felder in 2008 stated, when mismatches exist between learning styles of most students in a class and the teaching style of the professor, the students may become bored and inattentive in class, do poorly on tests, get discouraged about the course, the curriculum and themselves, and in some cases change to other curricula or drop out of school. Professors confronted by low test scores, unresponsive or hostile classes, poor attendance and drops out know something is not working. They may become overly critical of their students, making things even worse, or begin to wonder if they are in the right profession. Most seriously, society loses potentially excellent professionals. To overcome these problems, professors should strive for a balance of instructional methods as opposed to trying to teach each student exclusively according to his or her preference. If the balance is achieved, all students will be taught partly in a manner they prefer, which leads to an increased comfort level and a willingness to learn partly in a less preferred manner, which provides practice and feedback in ways of thinking and solving problems which they may not initially be comfortable with, but which they will have to use to be fully effective professors. When you look at learning styles in an online environment, the professor has less cues that they're not being successful and a course will just not be well subscribed because the professor has designed the course in a learning style or to match learning styles that don't match those of the students so your enrollment within the class will drop. This is a very huge concern so you have to be using learning styles to develop your online. Using learning styles too. The learning styles model that best seems to fit with the authors, myself, role as the administrator of the Saskatoon Catholic Cyber School is the Feldman Silverman learning style model. There's many many different model styles. The model was first described or designed excuse me, by Richard Feldman and Linda Silverman in 1988 for engineering education but since has been applied to a wide range of disciplines which makes the model an interesting and simple method of applying learning styles to a teaching environment. Since 2002, this learning style questionnaire has been used by myself as a method of studying the learning style of the instructions. During the inception of the cyber school, the administrator's role, my role, was the education of instructor designers in course development and online teaching. The teacher development questionnaire results were used to, astil to illustrate the variation in learning styles of the instructors. At the time, the cyber school had six instructors and one administrator, each of whom was required to complete the questionnaire and then the results were placed upon the chart. Once the chart was completed, it was used to illustrate the differences between the staff members' learning style. This difference was then used to explain how important it is when writing a course, we understand that this range will also exist between our students who are taking the course. This was a very visual exercise which hopefully explained to the instructors the need for the course to be written to accommodate as many learning styles as possible. From a personal point of view, the completion of the questionnaire explained the years of confused looks from students taught in the face-to-face -face -face environment. For 17 years, teaching his, my course in a strong, intuitive, visual, and global approach created some problems. The active reflective scores were fairly neutral, but he scored a 7 on intuitive, that's myself, an 11 on visual, and an 11 on global. Being so strong on the three of the four scales would explain the confusion created when teaching. In a face-to-face -face environment, it's very easy to identify the students who were confu confused by, teaching the by the teaching approach and then individually assist these students after the main group had gone on to the next part of the lesson. This method of education worked well for the author myself for 17 years, but when moving to an online method of instruction, the eyes of the students were not readily available, making it more difficult to see the confused look of the students. By trying to include more virtual approaches, it was hoped that this would help alleviate some of the confusion. As the administrator of the Saskatoon Catholic Cyber School, it was difficult at the inception to gain cons consensus on the approach to course design. For a couple of months, a team of four teachers worked upon trying to achieve this common approach. It was quite apparent that each one of them had different ideas on what was necessary to make a successful course. It was not until the learning style questionnaire was completed by the team that it became apparent that each course was going to be written in a different style. Upon reflection, the team realized that the variation in teaching approach was a good cross-section of the variation of the students' learning styles. 
who would be the clients of the courses once they were completed. It was then decided as long as the online course was designed to meet as many different learning styles as possible, that would be the best approach. The team then worked together to add as many different approaches as possible. The courses still tend to lean towards the learning style and the structure with some approaches taken from the other team members. Who s what started as a difficult situation with instructors debating on common approach, it resulted in courses that have diverse approaches. My first questionnaire that, was, that I did on learning styles was completed in 2002 as I was the administrator for the Catholic Cyber School. As, ex as explained, in 2002, I was, a, I was a 1 on the active side of the active reflective scale, a 7 on the intuitive side of the sensing intuitive scale, an 11 on the visual side of the visual verbal scale, and an 11 on the global side of the sequential global scale. At that time, the results of the questionnaire were more a reflection of my role as an art teacher with a phys ed degree than it was as an administrator for the cyber school. On February the 8th, 2009, I did the questionnaire again. This was after I had been the administrator for the Saskatoon Catholic Cyber School for about eight years. The results of the questionnaire was a seven on the reflective side, on the active reflective scale, a seven on the intuitive side of the sensing intuitive scale, a nine on the visual side of the visual verbal scale, and a nine on the global side of the sequential global scale. The only change to the my learning style was a lean more towards the reflective side of the active reflective scale, which might be a result of the need to reflect upon de decisions made to create, recreate and analyze a cyber school. And as an art teacher, let's try it out and see how it works method is a good artistic approach, but it doesn't work well as an administrator. The sensing intuitive scale results were identical in the two tests. Leaning towards the intuitive side would explain the author's preference, myself, my preference, for innovation, new concepts, and abstracts of using this new approach to education. The visual verbal scale results showed a very strong leaning towards the visual, which might explain being an art teacher for 17 years of, the, of my career. In, this role, in, a, in my role as the administrator for the cyber school, it would account for my push to get all the teachers and designers to include images, graphics, d diagrams, sketches, schematics, photographs, flowcharts, and other visual supports for the predominantly text-based courses, courses which we normally consider to be our online courses. The sequential global scale results were, and still are, very strong on the global side. As an administrator for the cyber school, this global approach has been supported by many strong sequential learners for the step-by-step -step development of the program. This support has allowed the myself to plan the overall vision of the cyber school while leaving the step-to-step -step of the cyber school to others. Perhaps by luck and good planning, the staff, which was appointed to create the cyber school, showed a diverse number of learning styles. This range created a synergy within the original cyber school group, which helped ensure that the course development included teaching methods which touched on many of the learning styles. As confirmed by Feldman and Brent, variety in assignment is also a cornerstone of recommendations for addressing the full spectrum of learning styles with some problems emphasizing practical considerations and requiring careful attention to de details and others call for theoretical interpretation and math mathematical mod modeling while some individual efforts and others require teamwork, or teamwork and so on. It might be one of the reasons this, the cyber school courses have shown a remarkable sex success rate in comparison to many of the text-based online courses, or it might be something totally different. But knowing that the staff's learning styles did make it easier for myself as administrator to understand why as a team the diversity was something to be embraced and not fought against. In the long run, it resulted in stronger courses.